Hello students, now we are in 13th session that is National Liberation Movements in the colonies. In the previous session till we have done that CCP party was founded by Mao Zedong. I repeat, CCP party was founded by Mao Zedong. Let us see again. <coughs> yeah, CCP. CCP party was founded in 1921 by Mao Zedong. Very, very important. Mao Zedong. CCC party was founded by Mao Zedong on the basis of the communist government ideas. He was inspired from the Russian Revolution. When he was inspired from the Russian Revolution, he was founded this Communist Party of China or CCP, Chinese Communist Party. He was launched with different programs. His approach was different. His approach was different. Different programs he organized. Different programs he organized. What are the different programs he organized? This kind of, it may also ask in examinations. They may ask also examinations, give certain programs of Mao Zedong. He organized a program in a different way. He organized the peasants to fight against landlords. He organized that, I repeat, he organized that the peasants to fight against landlords. Organized the peasants, peasants to fight against, to fight against landlords. Means he is inspiring the people. Let us fight against the landlords. Landlords are having so many lakhs of the acres. Let us go and let, let us occupy the lands. Okay? Then you know whenever he says, you know, lakhs of landless were joined in the CCP. Lakhs of landless. Lakhs of landless joined in CCP. Lakhs of landless were joined in the CCP. Next. He also formed Rural Women Association. Formed Rural Women Association. One women, Rural Women Association. One of, one of the association was formed, it was consist, was consist by only the rural women. Rural women it was consist, it was called as Rural Women Association, it was became very strong. Next. A strong Soviet Council. A strong Soviet Council. This is confined by only the rural women. Rural Women Association. Rural Women Association. And this one, a strong Soviet Council. Soviet Council along with the workers and all other category people were people were joined in it. And he he was tested for what he was he, he was tested. He was tested for independent army. Stressed for for independent government. Independent government and army. You know that that time there was no independent government. That time there was no any independent government. So that you know he was focusing that independent army. And he also focusing. Focusing on land redistribution. Land redistribution. He is completely focusing on land redistribution. He was aware of the women problems. He also aware of the women problem. We, we thought that in before that there were so many women's problems were there. So that he also focused on the women's problem. Most probably women's problems were you know marriages. He was formulated, he was promoted. Promoted a new marriage laws. New marriage laws. Before the marriages were like contract. Before before marriages were contract, but whenever he came, he was organizing, he was promoted a new marriage law. And he was forbade arranged marriages. Forbade arranged marriages. No arranged marriages. That means not all law marriages. Forbid arranged marriages means forcible arranged marriages were cancelled. No there, no more there was no uh, arranged marriages, forcible arranged marriages were uh, he was forbid and he also stopped it. He also stopped it purchase, purchase or sale of marriage contract. Purchase or sale, purchase or sale of marriage contracts. Marriage contract. 
before that in china marriages were like contract contract marriages were there and there was lot of uh, damages were lot of problematic things were there and there was no divorce system was there divorce system is there but it was very difficult to get the divorce system and he also simplified simplified the divorce simplified the divorce system he was yeah, he was did so these are the different programs he was organized organized under the ccp party that we know that organized the fission uh, fissions to fight against landlords lakhs of landlords were joined farmers uh, farmer rural women's association a strong soviet council was formed all the people were joined trusted for the independent government and the army he was focusing on land redistribution those who are landlords were there he wanted to he wanted to give the land and he what he promoted a new marriage laws new marriage laws he was promoted forbade the arranged marriages he was cancelled the arranged marriages forcible arranged marriages next up the purchase or sale of marriage contract marriage contract was there you can sell it. that is you know you can buy the contract marriage contract next up simplified the divorce system so these are the resources these are the resources were done by ccp party then in very Uh, very soon he became a popular leader in china and many people were believed in mao mao zedong next time mao zedong also focusing on that especially end the landlordism and also imperialism we know that they also say that end end the warlords end the warlords because still warlords are influencing and imperialism and imperialism imperialism means other european countries were forcing them other european countries were completely threatening them uh, other european countries were destroying the china how britishers were took our resources how britishers were dominated so that also comes under imperialism so that he always stressing on end of warlords and also imperialism yeah whenever he became very popular whenever he became a popular there was a attack between the kmp and the ccp there was a attack kmp party people are they are attacking on ccp party members so there was a complete disturbances among the these two people we can see he frequently changes he frequently changes his base we can see he once of a time in ccp party base ccc party was their all members party was uh, it was there in uh, jiangxi Jiang Zi, one CCP CCP party wanted to uh, wanted to hide themselves from the attacks of the KMP party. Then sometimes they were they stayed at uh, Jiang Zi, and we can see he was held on long march. He was held on long march in 1934 and 1935. Long march. So what is long march? To change his base again. To change his base again. He was six thousand miles. Very difficult road. Very difficult distance. It was six thousand miles. Six thousand miles. He, they all members were by barefoot on foot only. They were they were march. It is known as long march. To escape from the attacks of the KMT, this long march was done. Okay. This this mile was completely reached to Sanji. Sanji. They completely successfully. changed their base successfully changed this their base to sanji right next time they they have certain agendas but most probably the main agenda the twin agenda of mao was and now twin agenda what was the twin agenda twin twin means two the dual agenda or twin the agenda of of mao was and now was first one is land redistribution land redistribution he wanted to distribute the land to the landless people he want to distribute second one second one nationalism second one nationalism the meaning of the nationalism means to drive out the foreigners drive out the foreigners from china so that is the twin main agenda of main agenda of mao zedong ccp party leader okay Yeah, do they achieve it or not? Let us see once. Do they achieve it or not? Let us see. Yeah, again we discussed that Japan. Japan they started to attack on China from 1937. During 1937 and 1945, this period 1935 to 1945. In this period, China China was occupied some part. Sorry, 
Japan, Japan occupied some parts of China. It is also called as Manchuria. Manchuria. Manchuria means not eatable. Manchuria is a, is a place. The far east place of China was came under the control of Japan. So Japan was, you know, they wanted to impose very cruel colonial power. They imposed the cruel colonial power in the Manchuria. I repeat, Japan was imposed very harsh conditions they created in Japan that is in Manchuria. Hence, you know, KLP party. Hence, you know, KLP plus CCP. KLP, CCP, both parties they united, they fought for their country. KLP and CCP both were fought for their country. As we know that 1945, 1945, USA dropped bombs. USA dropped bombs. USA dropped bombs on Hiroshima Nagasaki on Japan. Then Japan was surrendered. Then finally Japan was surrendered. After the Second World War. After the Second World War, CCP became CCP became a major party. CCP CCP ruled China. CCP ruled China means you know China administration came under the control of CCP party and KMT party. KMT party it was confined to a in a Taiwan. Taiwan. It also near China. So they KMT they ruled China. Sorry KMT they ruled Taiwan. CCP they ruled China. So this is uh, how this is they are completely uh, came into power. Let us see how is it their twin policy do they uh, successfully completed, successfully achieved their destination. Let us see once. Yeah, just now we said we discussed it that CCP party became a main party in China's mainland and KMT party became they successfully established their, their authority in Taiwan, we said. Yeah. 1945, sorry, in 1949, 1949, the People Republic of China, the People Republic yeah, the People Republic of China was adopted. Yeah. China became the People Republic of China on the basis of new democracy principle. So the new democracy was set up. New democracy was set up in 1949. I repeat, new democracy was set up in 1949. Okay. So whenever this new new democracy was set up in 1949, they this CCP party Mao Zedong became a leader. Mao Zedong administrating China and they are implementing uh, implementing certain plans, they are implementing certain plans, especially these plans were completely uh, benefit, uh, benefit for the landless people, okay, economy was, economy was completely uh, under the, under the control of government, we, what they did, they did, economy was under the control, under the control of government, economy was under the control of government, and uh, Fizant Associations, Fizant Association, Fizant Association was set up, all the Fizant, those who are Fizants are there, for their purpose you know, they have set up one Fizant Association was set up. So for that, why they set up? Because of land reforms, because of land reforms. Yeah. So land reforms organized in 1950 and 51, very very important. When China, China government, you know that, Russia also gave lands to the landless people and China also inspired from the Russia then they also wanted to give lands to the landless people yeah let us see what they have to do what they have to do what they did first one is first one is identification identification of peasants peasants because for all they will not give no. For example, those during Corona time, government is giving to all 15, all to 15, 1500 rupees, not. Those who are poor, for them only they are giving. So, in the, uh, identification of visits. I repeat, identification of visits. Next up, visit council or visit associations. So, visit associations or visit councils were set up. Visit council were set up that those who are having lands those who do not have a land. So they are writing their names, they are identifying. 
they are going village level every countryside every village certain committees are going they are identifying that how many farmers are there in the village how many members are landless and how many members landlords are landlords are there immediately they are giving their documents to them landlords documents were to, took and the landlords uh, landlords were landlords documents were hand over hand over to the peasants immediately and again there were work teams also there work teams so what are work teams work teams also roam entire china work teams also roam entire uh, country side of china and they are encouraging they are encouraging people to join in the ccp they are encouraging people to join into the CC ccp Pheasant Association Councils were there, Association of Councils were there, they are identifying the peasants, those who are having the land or those who do not have the land, those who are the landlords. All the landlords' lands were took. Those who are having many lands, many acres of the land, those lands were, lands were took. Those who did not give lands, they were executed, they were killed, okay, they were handled. So, land redistribution. Let us see the land redistribution. See, landlords' lands. Landlords, lands confiscated, 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 confiscated means occupied under the came under the control of government. Government was uh, took under the control. So this is called this is called confiscated. Landlords, lands were confiscated, confiscated and uh, redistributed, redistributed to the landless people. So what happened actually? Forty three percent of land. 43% of China's land was distributed to 60% of peasants. So majority. 60% of, uh, of peasants. That means you know, majority of the poor people they got land. Majority of the poor people they got land. And those who are ignored to give lands, you know, 10 to 20 lakhs. 10 to 20 lakhs people were executed. They were, you know, executed. They were killed. They were hanged. Especially landlords, especially landlords. So what happened, you know, for example, this person was rich. This person was rich. He is here. He is here. Yeah, these people were here. These people were here. These are poor. These are poor. Yeah, these are poor. And this is rich. Also called as elite. Also called as elite. So what happened? His land was took and his land was distributed to all. So whenever distributed to all, all members they have equal share of land. All members are having equal share of land and slowly slowly whenever they got they got uh, the land, the economy was developed and this all people they became you know middle class people. So middle class people were benefited. Middle class people were benefited due to this land reforms. Middle class people were benefited land reforms. Those who are elites also became elites also became rich people also became middle class. Poor people also became middle class. So all are equal. And the moreover, there was a very less education was there. There was very less education was there. So China they wanted to build a solid uh, solid China. So how how they have to build a solid China, developed China, modern China. So what they have done, you know, added to feasant schools. Added to feasant schools. Added to feasant schools. Added to feasant so school, uh, schools were set up. In these schools, political education also they taught. Political education. They also taught political education. They also taught feasants, uh, feasants and extra information and Political education also they, they, they provided and primary education also provided primary education primary education was provided so due to this you know within a decade within a decade in early stage in early stage China became very strong China's education became very very strong then solid China was built by the Mao Zedong now the father of China was Mao Zedong father of China was Mao Zedong because he was the god of the poor people because he distributed the land to the all. Nowadays, all middle class people, all middle class people became a member of China. 
all middle class people they became members of china nowadays no other political parties no other political parties came into power except the chairman of ccp party chairman chairman of ccp party only he will became president of china because there was a huge majority was there no other political parties are allowed in china oh except the ccp and ccp allies ccp uh major ccp party also having certain uh, allocation or friendship so that parties and along with the ccp and those parties are able to get win into the elections because of the land reforms china became a uh, top country and this communist country and finally mao zedong became father of china Ma founder of modern china was sun itself so this is about china